Hey there again, it's Melissa. I'm just gonna do a product, uh, I guess the oils that I use in my hair and show you which ones I use. I use a lot of the ones that Spisha, which I can post um, her YouTube channel below, that she uses, which she shows you the method how to use it. But if you're not familiar with the product, I can just let you know here um, that I'm using, because I'm also using a few um, different ones at the end, because I'm kind of following the Curly Girl method. I just haven't found a gel that they rec they recommend putting gel in your hair to keep the moisture in, but I haven't found a good gel that doesn't have alcohol in it. So I'm not really sure if you guys have any um, suggestions, su suggestions, if you have any suggestions, please post below, comment below. That would be really helpful to me because maybe I'm just not looking in the right place to find a natural, no alcohol, no crazy ingredient list out gel down like out in the world. I'm just not really comfortable using any of the gels that I found. So that's that. I mean, my hair is looking okay. It's kind of, it's looking a little bit thin. It's looking just a little thin, but it's getting way more full than it was. I kind of wish I had started filming this a little earlier so we can see, so I could personally see the transformation of my hair. But anyway, so I do wash my hair about, I was doing like three to four days and lately since we've been biking so much preparing for our trip it's been a little longer like we I haven't washed my hair for maybe like five to six days which you know for me it's not that big of a deal because I don't have a greasy hair problem my hair is usually very dry if anything so um, actually I just spray it with some water with lavender uh, and then I put some of this leave-in curl uh, feed your curls from Yarek um, that I put in my hair but anyway, when I do wash my hair, and I know I'm gonna wash in the morning, I do the oil treatment that uh, I found out from Spisha. Spisha? Spisha? I think that's how you say your name. I really hope I'm not like destroying it. But anyway, so I put the Tropical Isle Living Black Castor Oil. Can you see that? Let's see. You see? So I used that first, and then I use the Tropical Isle, let's see, tropical, let's see, can you focus here? Tropical Isle Living Red Pimiento Oil. So that's the second thing. And then I know um, she did recommend a certain brand for the coconut oil, but since we, this is what we have, we have the Trader Joe's Extra Virgin or Organic Virgin Coconut Oil. That's what I've been using my hair. You keep that up and I leave that in overnight. I've also been using one more different kind of oil, but I forgot to bring it out here, so give me just a second and I'll put it, I'll bring it. This oil I've also been using in my hair. I don't know if you can see it. It's, um, it's like an oil blend. It has a lot of different oils in it. And I've been, I found this one first before I found the pimiento and the castor oil. And it, it seems to work really well. It has really good things in it. You know, it has um, avocado oil, olive oil, coconut oil, apricot oil, um, hazelnut oil, grapeseed oil, pumpkin seed oil, orange peel oil, jojoba, yangling, um, cedarwood, patchouli. <laughs> There's so much oil. There's so many different kinds of oil. And I was like, give it to me. That's what I want because it has so many different oils that are really good for you. I've read a lot of the different ones that I was listing are really good for your hair. So I was just like, I'm just going to get it. And um, so I did and I've been using it and it's been working on my hair also. So I also put that in my hair kind of when, when I want to. I'll do it sometimes when I do the other oils in my hair. And then I will also put that in my hair after I've washed it and just kind of massage it in my scalp. And just go you know and just put that in there okay and then in the morning when I wash my hair I don't I was using a little bit of shampoo and it was the um, tropical isle living pimiento shampoo that's what I was using but I kind of stopped using that and I'm just literally using the feed your volume feed your volume uh, conditioner by Yarek um, so I've been using that and it works pretty well. Um, it doesn't feel like any conditioner I've ever used before. I wish it was a little bit more like soft feeling, 
personally, but I think that's just a personal preference. But the reason why I chose this one is because there's nothing crazy in the ingredients. Um, I wish I could read them to you, but there's a little sticker. But if you go online, you can get it on Amazon and you can check out what the ingredient list is on there. And it's really straightforward. I really like it. It's things that I know what it is instead of being like, what's that? I have no idea. So it's more natural things. And I also bought two other products that they sell. This one I've been using for a while, the, the Feed Your Curls. It's really great. I actually found this, I heard about this product from Hair Romance. She was using this as one as one of her products that she uses and I was like, oh, that might be interesting. I, I really love this actually. It feels really nice in your hair. It helps your curl definition, I, at least I feel that way. And it seems really good. And one of the things that I also noticed that my hair is super, super, super dry. So I also bought this Feed Your Moisture. I've used this one time. And this is, these are all by Yarok. Yarok, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but anyway, Feed Your Moisture. I, I've used this one time and it seemed like it worked really well. It smells really good. Uh, I do need to use it again. I just haven't had the opportunity to use it again. So, cause I, I, this is a fairly new product that I started using, but I was like, hmm, moisture, that might be good. Cause my hair is super, super, super dry all the time. So anyway, those are the products that I've been using and I, you know, spritz my hair with water and I actually just gave my hair a little trim the other day because I just was hoping that it would help it grow. I've heard mixed feelings about that, like from a spiritual level, I've heard that cutting your hair is not really the best, but I've also heard that cutting your hair helps it grow. So I sometimes feel conflicted about that, but I decided let me just trim it and see what happens because I've been pretty much growing in my hair for the past four years I've trimmed it I trimmed it twice and it's kind of just stayed the same length so I'm just doing the best that I can to help my hair grow and give it the best the best care to facilitate that so anyway those are the products that I'm using on my hair and I will keep you posted how it's going, but so far I'm like all this like <laughs> looks kind of silly because I have all these like little short hairs, but they're growing so much. Like there wasn't any hair, like they, there wasn't any hair at all, and now like I have all these little I don't know if you can see like these little tiny pieces, these little curls. They're just like growing. Like you see, they're so short. So like they're finally growing, and I'm so 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 happy about that because sorry, it is so hot in here. Um. Anyway, so. I'm so happy that my hair is growing back because I was really concerned. I was like, oh my gosh, Andrew, I'm gonna be bald and my hair is turning gray and I'm not gonna have any hair on my head and blah, you know, all these things that you think of instead of just embracing the fact that you have some hair on your head. Anyway, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, that's okay if you give it a thumbs down. Any feedback is really great for me and Andrew to know what you guys like. And also, comment below. I'd love to hear your comments or questions. And also, if someone has a gel they want to recommend that is alcohol-free, no parabens, no sulfites, none of the crazy stuff in it, I'd be really happy to check that out. Like a, nat a natural gel, really natural. Because I can't, I can't find it. So, um, anyway, if you guys have any rec recommendations about that, that would be awesome. If you don't, that's okay too. I can keep searching or maybe even make a gel myself. That's what I've been thinking about lately, actually. I know chia seeds can help, or chia seeds are gelatinous, so I've been thinking about maybe making some sort of concoction on my own, but I haven't done that yet. So, anyway, if you guys have any recommendations about that, I would be more than grateful to hear what you have to say and if you want to hear videos i mean if you want to get alerts when we have new videos please subscribe to our channel below just prick that uh press that button below and then you'll get any updates of my hair videos that i'm doing um my post fast videos uh our bike adventure videos andrew's post fast videos anything like that like that's so far what we're doing but you know any any videos that we make you'll get notifications when we get the new ones out so we, well, I hope you have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video and can't wait to share the next thing with you on my hair journey. All right, 
Bye.